Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode in Jurassic World Evolution 2's Jurassic World build. We are on the second last until the tour video where we will be doing this, the Velociraptor pen, which, as you can see, I've sort of updated it a little bit. But we are going to be just building this and this only, because the last thing we have to do, which is over here, well, not over here yet, but will be, will be the Indominus Rex. Now, I had a little issue at first, because when I was first building this in, like, the previous episode, you only caught a little bit of it. But I actually built it over here, thinking that there was more space over here. And then I realized when I did build it, that literally it was right here. So, like, it was right in the middle, and I was like, okay, there's no way. Way I'm gonna be able to do it but I actually moved it here now it's ready to be built and we are going to just get to work actually but first I'm gonna actually make the Raptors themselves and also guys I I want to ask a question so I'm planning on doing live streams soon, like, that's my hope, mainly on Jurassic World Evolution 2. I might do something for Camp Cretaceous Season 5 when it comes out, I don't know yet, but I want to know, do you guys want me to do, like, live streams? Like, what I'm thinking is similar to what Evolution Square does, like, you know, we just do sandbox builds, maybe so a challenge mode once or twice, and you guys help me build the park. That's what I'm thinking. Now, we want to get blue as a more calm raptor instead of, you know, okay, well, this one's going to be it for sure. Strong and fit and social, yeah. And then char all these ones we can have as aggressive, let's see. Strong, aggressive, fit, that's a good one for Charlie. It'd actually be better for Delta, which... Yep, we got one for Delta, and Echo, we know that Echo was way more aggressive than the others because she actually tried to take control of a pack from Blue, so who knows. Let's go with, we'll go with this. Alright, so we'll let them be made, and, oh, yep, the vehicle's under attack, that's, that's not surprising. Now, before we get to work on the enclosure, let's get a work on the background first because I actually have a look I have an image right on my phone here so I know exactly what the background looks like and we're gonna need one of these which I think it was this way yeah so we need a tent and we'll need a gr well we'll need two where's the open one? Oh, it's right here so we'll need we'll need two of you Hopefully we can put you guys a little bit closer. And unfortunately I can't have any parked vehicles here, so we'll just have to, you know, use this as one of the vehicles that we saw in the background, which I'll put them here. And we'll, the gate will go over here, because, you know, this is where gonna, the main gate's going to be. Now, I do know in canon that the Velociraptor pen is not just this. There was actually a section that actually would expand out so that they could actually run around and stuff. This was mainly just for, like, when they were being left alone for the night. Which, I can't actually fit that, unfortunately. I could, I could make a little mini extension over here, but there's no point to that. We don't even really see it, so I have no based on how to design it. Now, let's work on this, which will we'll go... Th three should be good, and we'll actually change that to be... Which one's the right one? Yeah, it's this one. So, we'll go out to about... Five would do? Or four? No, let's go five, just in case. And then we'll go... Three out there, a little bit more. There you go. Out here, then we'll get a gate right on the side here. And now we're going to replace this with that. And we'll put the gate as close to this side as possible, but actually more like right here. I wish you had different gates, actually. I wish that they would have changed that, but now here's where we get to something interesting, because we 
I do remember Jurassic World had them in like these little cages so that they could put the cameras on them. We can't really do that, but I'm gonna actually, if I can, where's the decorations? There it is. Let's go to cages. We're gonna use the Indoraptor pen, and actually we might be able to even make this smaller. All right, so. Yeah, yeah. Geez, that vehicle is not having a good day. All right, one. Now, how close can we put them this way? Oh, we can put them really... God, those stegos are loud. Oh, and a little bit back. There we go, close enough. And two more, and actually, we're going to actually shrink this. So, we'll put one more. And yeah, we can actually make this a lot sm smaller, because we're going to make it so that, like, this is where the raptors were put in. So, like, you know, each raptor's here, like, Charlie, Echo, Delta, Blue, all of them here getting their cameras on. And let's go to here. Probably here will be fine, because, you know, I need to have space for the gate to connect. Nope, it's actually here. All right, so, gate there. Speaking of Camp Cretaceous, guys, what do you guys think about the other trailer? I'm hearing a lot of mixed feelings. Like, I hear some people saying they hate it, that it's going to be worse than Season 4. Well, one thing that we can all agree that's going to be terrible about it is that the Brads are going to still be in it because we saw the Brad X in the trailer, which, ugh, why did they have to introduce... I know we need to go for, like, you know... We need to change the franchise the way it is. Like, it can't just be, like, dinosaurs on an island. But robots? That was the weirdest thing. But actually, I do like the trailer. And I do like the concept of dinosaurs being controlled. Because it sort of totally um, goes against what Ian Malcolm has said. Because, like, he's never experienced a dinosaur being controlled. Though, I will say... The one thing I don't like about it is the dinosaurs they picked. Like, I'm fine with Toro, dinosaurs like Toro and uh, Limbo. Yeah, Limbo. But when it comes to the Spinosaurus, I gotta be honest, I'm not really the fa biggest fan of that one being picked. Because it's the Spinosaurus. Like, it's the one dinosaur of all of the ones alive, apart from hybrids, that shouldn't be able to be reasoned with at all. Even Velociraptor you have better chances with than that one. But, I don't know, that's just me. It's a cool concept still, but I don't know how I feel about it. Now I'm gonna wrap this around in sand, cause like, we don't have like a proper rock, like a pebble rock, except for like the ones there, but it's the wrong kind of color, so I'm gonna use sand around here instead. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good idea to have all those dinosaurs there, because they are so loud. I can hear, like, all of them, the baryonyx, and... S all right, we'll have... This is, like, the open section, like, right around here. Like, this is where the guy's gonna fall. And actually, to sort of... Well, I don't really need anything here. I was gonna put something here to sort of signal that, like, this is where the person would be to feed... To sort of watch them from above, but... There's no point, really. It's not worth it. But let's go to decorations and let's start getting the trees and stuff in. Which, yeah, for these two enclosures and stuff, like the T-Rex one that I did when I got all these, I want to make this as, like, scenery as possible. Like, it's not going to be, like, you know, just the forest, which we can have one here and... <laughs> such and such there and then we're gonna switch to some in between here mm -hmm. yeah like this new these new scenery trees I'm so glad we got these like when I saw that we didn't have them in the fr at at all, like, when the game first released, I was like, come on, man, we had them in the first game, even though they were, like, pains in the butts to use, everybody still really liked using them, but we got them back, and much better, like, 
I can literally have them in the other trees and stuff. This is a hitbox, yes, but I can have it like literally like this. You can never get it this close in the first game. You'd have to be like this far away at minimum. And since we have such variety, we got like different versions of like palm trees, we got little weeds and such. It's awesome. Also, I just realized I'm going to need to add some water to this. So let's add that right here, like a small little pool. It doesn't need to be fancy. It's just the wrap. And it won't even be really seen. Like, we just got to make sure that we're angled right here, which also I'll probably line up some facilities stuff right here, like some trailers, because we did see those in the movie. And yeah, there you go. There's a raptor enclosure, which actually we're just going to put a little bit more here, which wow, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought. It's going to be a short video. I want to save the Indominus for one video for its own video because I feel like it's proper to do. But yeah, this was much shorter than I thought. Now, when it comes to... We need to add something. Let's add a bit of sand actually to that texture. It'll make it pop out a bit more. All right, a little bit more. And we can add some... Yeah, that is the dirt. Okay, I was like, wait, am I putting rock in here? No. There you go. And we'll add some over here. And I might actually take a bit of the trees out of, like, the middle. Because, you know, it's a little... Th yeah, like... Yeah, let's take some out... There we go, that looks a lot better right there. It's a, It was a little too thick, but you know, a nice little center here, which we will actually put the goat feeder. Well, no, we'll put the goat feeder like off to the side. This will be the meat feeder. All right, goat feeder, let's hide you somewhere if I can. Maybe we might, oh my God, we might have to put him in the middle. Oh, nope, I found a spot. There we go. And what we can do to hide him Oh god, the Dilophosaurus destroyed the car. Alright, now... Let's just hide... Oh wow, you can't really hide this. Okay, so this still has a crazy hitbox with these. That's a bit of a shame. Alright, so... There we go. That is the Raptor exhibit bit already. I'm gonna get those guys made. I mean, well, not made. Released. Gonna put some trailers here. And... Oh god, excuse me, got the hiccups again. Ugh, why do I always have the hiccups when I record, god damn it? It's... Ugh, Jesus. Alright, let's spread this sand out. It looks weird with just that cut. Alright, and... Now, one thing I also do want to mention about um, Evolution 2 is... Um, my next series, I did put a poll out, like, a month ago, I think it was, about three options, the Biosyn facility, the Biological Preserve, and, and I can't remember the other one, I'll have to double check what it was, and I remember we picked the, the Biosyn facility. Now, I am wondering, guys, because Jurassic World Dominion is coming very soon, I actually wanted to do, like, a sort of series like based on jpog like basically the rule would be i would use jpog dinosaurs unmodded ones that is and also do it in sort of a style that'd be jpog like so that would be like squares only no round things and i want to know what do you guys think of that like we will be doing the Biosyn facility still at the same time, that's no doubt about it, but I'm going to do both of them at the same time. Do you guys want me to do that? And I know what you think, and I know some people are going to ask, why not I just play JPOG? I don't know if I will be able to. If it's on, like, if I'm able to download it on my computer and stuff, and my computer can play it, I will, it, as long as it's able to be downloaded legally. I'm pretty sure it's on... I've heard that it's actually on Steam, but I'm not sure. I'll have to double-check that. So if it's on Steam, I'll work out how to... 
I'll work out my recording software on my computer, and uh, I don't know, maybe we can do that, and that'll sort of help me with ideas for Jurassic Park month, because, well, I need some ideas because I don't have, like, any of the old games, and I, there's no way to find any for a reasonable price. So, let's, there you go, put them down, and while you guys are coming in, let's just line this up with some decorations of, not these ones, of some trailers. There we go. Now we have some trailers, which you don't really see them in the background, but they were, in fact, there. And realistically, this enclosure is massive in comparison to those. They were, like, huge in the background, but whatever. Now, who's here first? Velociraptor 1, that should be blue. Yes, it is, so let's name her blue. R1. And we'll wait for the other. Ah, oh, sh... Wow. I know it's the same skin from the first movie, and it's the one from, and also from the first game, but how does it look, it looks so much more detailed. Maybe it's because, like, this is on the PS5, but still, wow. All right, there we go. Ooh, that was a nice chirp. Charlie. Oh, the sinister music comes. It's upon us, Charlie. Now, now let's speed it up so we can get your others here. Okay, they should be here by now. There we go, that's Delta. It's so weird to me to think that these guys have been a part of the franchise for seven years now, and realistic, and a, I know for Blue it's not that hard to believe, but for these guys, it feels like we haven't seen them in forever, even though we ha it hasn't been that long. Oh, now he just arrived. There we go. There's Echo. And we are going to be ending it there. A shorter video, like really short, like literally all we have to do was just do the decorating around. And yeah, I'm really proud of this one. Like compared to the first game where like it, I really didn't do much detail. Like this alone just makes me so much happier. Like I can literally pretend like, oh, this is where I put the raptors in to do like maybe their medical care or something. Or God knows what else, their military stuff. But we finally have like a cool looking raptor enclosure thanks to the scenery, thanks to the better terrain. It, it's awesome. Now, hopefully I can get all these guys together. Oh, yep, grasping hands. He's going after a goat, I think. Delta, where? Oh, yep, Delta's got it. And there you go. She, she killed him. It's going to eat the goat? Yes, she is. Oh, small little chunk. So. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I haven't seen that in quite a while. I f totally forgot they had that animation. That was cool. But, guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and that is going to wrap it up. And if you have enjoyed it, and I've been enjoying Jurassic World's build so far, wow, it has changed so much, like, since we've started. Like, we started with just this main street. Not even the scenery items were here, because, you know, they hadn't even all come. We only had, like, the umbrellas and the rocks and the lights. We didn't have, like, these ones here, the plants. 
look how much it's changed. Like, look at this map. It's so different compared to the first one, even my PS4 version. This is completely different, and I love it. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, we're going to pick up on a raptor. Let's, uh, who's going to be? Echo. Wait, who's the alpha, actually? Uh, of course it's blue. Well, we're on blue. Let's stick with her. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And as she goes into the long grass, or no, she's going out of it. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, I, let's say that one more time. I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, guys, as blue lies down in the grass. Oh, and she knows we're watching her. Uh, no, we're not. And, well, okay, I'll check that out in a second. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.